family a happy monday to every single one of you welcome to the way evangelistic ministry i am your favorite evangelist tabo mahasani together with my beautiful your beautiful african queen pastor pinky we are excited to be with you on this beautiful monday morning i hope that you are ready to kick start this powerful week we are looking forward to this week a very short week indeed, Pastor Pinky. Mm. Uh, Friday is Passover. Yeah, it's and, very uh, exciting. Exciting times. Mm. We cannot wait uh, for the Passover. If you are a believer, if you are a disciple, a follower of Jesus Christ, this is a time where we should be uh, anticipating, even in our spirit, uh, uh, what God is going to be doing this coming Passover. Therefore, we are excited, and I know that this is going to be a great week indeed. Praise be to God. Amen. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. But uh, let me ask you, how are you doing this Monday morning? <laughs> <laughs> it's rough this Monday morning. You feel it now. I feel it now. It's raining. It's cold. You, you wish you were in bed right now. <laughs> I wish I was in bed. <laughs> but the work of the Lord, uh, either way, it must go on. Uh, thank you, Jesus. So we bless the Lord that we are Hallelujah. awake this Praise morning. God. And yes. um, we are here to share the word of the Lord with you Amen. and what an honor Hallelujah. it is for us to really you know co-labor yeah um with the lord Amen. our lord jesus christ so with that said good morning family Hallelujah. i trust that you have rested well mm. in this cold winter's Hi, morning jesus, it feels like winter here in pretoria already it's very cold <laughs> i don't know where in maria where you are how yeah. the weather is yeah, but it's US. very cold here mm. and it's raining yes. but we bless the lord for rain yeah. yeah yeah so good morning family and thank you for joining us those watching us for the very very first time Come on now. thank you for joining us as mm. well this morning may you be blessed by the word of the lord and the 007s the undercover brothers the undercover sisters mm. we see you we know you james bond the james bond yeah. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for joining us as well, family. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to uh, follow us on social media. Mm -hmm. Follow us on face on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I almost said facial book. Hey. Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. Facebook Come at on. the Way Evangelistic Ministry. Mm. Follow us on Instagram. We are there as well. Amen. And YouTube. Subscribe and. There's lots of sessions there. Yeah. So if you want to have a catch-up session, mm -hmm. go on YouTube and just watch and you will be blessed. Amen. 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 Glory be to Jesus. Mm. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us this morning. We really bless the Lord for you and thank you for joining once again. And uh, let's just see who's on quickly. Let's greet the people of God and then we can open up in prayer this morning as we have a powerful word lined up for you this morning. We have Sandra Coleza. Good morning to you. We have uh, Maria out in the U.S. She says, good morning, uh, family. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Maria, I think she's responding yeah. to, to your, your comment there. She says, it's getting, getting warm, warm by us. Well, Praise it's, it's, the it's Lord. always the opposite. When it's winter in South Africa, then it's... in the U.S., it's, it's springtime, it's summertime. Yeah. Well, enjoy the spring there, Maria. Enjoy the warmth. I believe, Enjoy um, it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I believe it's it's a great time coming out of the winter, and uh, we are stepping into a very cold time. Mm. But uh, we must embrace every season. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Sandra. Thank you so much for tagging some people right there mm. this morning. We really, really, really appreciate that. Mm. The Lord bless you. Okay, so let's just open up in prayer this morning. And then we can get into the word of the Lord this morning. If you will, just pray with us today. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you the glory. We thank Amen. you for your goodness, your mercy, and your kindness. Once mm. again, we declare that this is a day ordained by you, Father. In our hearts, we choose, Father, to, to, to rejoice and be glad in this day in the name of Jesus. We commit this entire week to you. We thank you, Lord, that you will go ahead of us this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lead us, guide us by your spirit today in the mighty name of Jesus. Even today, as we will be talking about personal revivals, the word of, God, of the Lord declares, won't you revive us again, my God? Therefore, Father, I pray that you will touch us in a significant way. You will change whatever needs to be changed in our lives as your sons and daughters. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Okay, there we go. LeBron Carter, he says, blessings, morning all. Good morning, LeBron Carter out in Atlanta. 
That's a rhyme right there, Pastor Ricky. Yeah. LeBron Carter in Atlanta. <laughs> I see you, LeBron. Good morning, my dear brother. God bless you. That's, that's a, a song coming, well, <laughs> LeBron. Well, the, the, the songs have been coming. The Pastor songs Pinky. have been coming for the past two years, so we're still waiting. We're still waiting for Luke. In the book of in Luke. In the book of Luke. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise be to God. We have uh, Ofente. Um, he says, uh, good morning, family. Uh, uh, um, Connie Parkes. Uh, she's asking, where is the family this morning? Hey, Maria, it's, we need personal revival, Maria. That is why today's teaching is personal revival. We need revival. personal revival. <laughs> where is the family? That is the big question this morning. But uh, nevertheless, we continue this morning. Amen. Uh, uh, Connie Barkas, she said, good morning, family. We have Yvonne, uh, the queen, Jose Khadi. She says, good morning, saints. Good morning to you the, uh, 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 in midstream centurion. Uh, Yvonne, yes. thank you and welcome. Praise be to God. There we go. Pastor Pinky, I think we're going to get into it here this morning. We're talking about uh, personal revival. Mm. And um, I want to I wanna lay a foundation with scripture this morning from the book of Ephesians chapter 2. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, the book of Ephesians chapter 2, we're going to read verse uh, 1 through 2 verse 7 this morning mm -hmm. praise be to god as you know what evangelist is about to say the grass with us the flowers fade but the word but the word of our god shall remain forever amen may the lord bless the reading of his word as we are laying a foundation <clears throat> for personal revival glory mm -hmm. be to god and the bible reads in this order and you were dead in mm -hmm. the trespasses and sins in which you once walked following the course of this world yes following the prince of the power of the air the spirit that is now at work in the sons of obedience mm. among whom all once lived in the passions of our flesh carrying out the desires of the body the body and the mind and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind mm. but god being rich in mercy because of the great love which he loved us even when we were dead in our, in our trespasses he made us alive together with christ amen by grace you have been saved yes. and raised up with him yes. and seated with him in the heavenly places amen. in christ jesus so that in the coming ages i love this part in the coming ages, this speaks about our future, our tomorrow, yes. so that in the coming ages, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace mm. in kindness mm. towards us in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I love that scripture. I love the scripture. Unati Jonas out in Lovedale this morning. Thank you for joining. Bless you and thank you for taking some people right there. She says, I have bad mm -hmm. network. On my side today it must be all this rain i believe pastor pinky i i think so it's yeah. the rain i'm just laughing at maria because um she says that i was about to take you so maria was about to tell unati. she was about to take unati <laughs> <laughs> thank you there maria thank you so so much um, all right now now the apostle amen. paul is outlining something powerful here yeah he's talking about our past yes he's talking about our present in ephesians 2 verse 1 to 7 yes. and he's also talking about our tomorrow mm. days to come he's speaking into our future as believers now he says we were dead in our sin yes but we were saved by grace mm. and now when he talks about our future mm -hmm. he said he says that you know uh, he talks about the immeasurable grace of god hallelujah mm. praise be to god this morning but i want us to just uh, uh, unpack this topic this morning quickly pastor pinky talking about personal revival amen now paul in ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19 if unati and uh, uh, sandra can just drop that scripture in the comment section Paul says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 19, this is a prayer from Paul, and he prays for the believers to comprehend God's great power that is working in them. We must comp comprehend God's power working in our lives. Amen. Praise be to God. He then describes how this same power that is working in the believer has resurrected the Lord Jesus Christ. 
from the dead mm. and he is it is it seated him in heavenly places far above all rule and authority now in ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 and 21 mm. the bible says god's power in christ conquered the graves mm. and evil in christ's resurrection ascension and rule this same power is at work in the believer that is the power of god Amen. it raised jesus from the christ from 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 the grave Amen. and now it is working in the life of the believer and that's why we are talking about personal revival today there is a power that is working on the inside of a believer this morning Amen. there is a power that wants to stir you up Amen. towards a powerful genuine relationship with jesus christ this morning mm. therefore i believe I'm just, um, it is a continuation, if I can call it that. From yesterday, we were talking about the fire of God. That when the fire of God consumes us, when the fire of God comes upon us as the believers, as the disciples of Jesus Christ, it draws us nearer to the Lord. Amen. Therefore, we're praying for fires of revival this morning, fires of personal revival to come upon every single person that is watching this morning. Be revived in your spirit. Be revived in your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't allow the fire to go out. Always be alert in the spirit, knowing that your relationship with Jesus, it is of utmost importance. Lebron Kara says, Hallelujah. please pray for Pastor White. She just fell out while preaching moments ago. Sure. Sure. Is this uh, Pastor now, Paula White or uh, please maybe just... Yeah. Uh, give us the name de lebron is it is it paula white or is it another pastor another white, white maybe mm. uh, 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 but yes we will certainly pray yeah. for, for for pastor white maybe we can uh, pray there, uh, uh, yeah okay yeah. Uh, you can just lead us there quickly there pastor pinky uh, but we also want to welcome uh non tobacco masangu thank you for wa watching yeah, says, good morning she's family joining us for the first time the lord bless you non tobacco but amen. yes you can go ahead pastor pinky amen. just lead us in prayer for uh, uh, uh pastor white if we can just pray or oh, it, no it's, it's a local pastor yeah, okay let's all pray together okay thank you Jesus. yes lord father we just speak life over pastor white this mm. morning in the name of jesus. jesus name father we thank you lord that nothing is impossible father for thank you, you father thank you lord therefore we thank you right now mighty god that whatever the enemy has claimed against yes, lord. her lord we come mm. against it oh, in the name father, of jesus in the name of jesus you, father you said in your word mm. that we must speak life we must choose life yes, father lord. therefore we speak life we speak life over pastor white right mm. now in thank jesus, jesus. Name. And thank we you, thank jesus. you my father thank you lord in jesus, in name. jesus amen. name amen praise be to god i believe the grace of of God is going to touch Pastor White there, Lebron. Uh, God is our faithful God in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Okay, now let's let's take it further there, Pastor Pinky. Now, in the book of Ephesians, which we've just read now, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 7, Paul demonstrates how God's power is working in us by describing the believer's past, present, and future. He describes uh, uh, um, what God's power has done in our lives. Therefore, I want us to understand that as the Bible declared in Ephesians 2, we were we were caught up in our in our transgressions in our sins but we were saved by the grace of God now that we know that we were saved not by our own strength not out by our own intellect or our own abilities we were saved by the grace of God Amen. therefore in this season now we need to do a little bit of spiritual checkup a little bit of introspection even before the Passover weekend Amen. We need to be revived in our spirit. Mm. We need to look ahead to the Passover Amen. and look at what God did for us. The Bible says, according to John 3, 16, many of you know this portion of scripture, mm. that God so loved the world Amen. that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to Amen. die for me and you, mm. so that whoever believes in him might not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. We were saved by grace. Therefore, in this week, let us do some introspection. Let us allow the fire of God to come upon us as individuals. Amen. 
because we can be caught up in the corporate setup. Mm. But even though we are in the corporate, do you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ? Yes. How is your temperature mm. this morning in your relationship with Jesus Christ? Mm. Are you cold? Are you hot? How is your relationship with Jesus? Therefore, this morning, we want to speak revival into your life this morning. Amen. Let your relationship with Jesus, let those sparks begin to rekindle. Let that fire come upon you today in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God working in the believer. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to God this morning. Praise be to God. Now, if the power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him above all authorities is at work in us, mm, mm. there must be evidence. Amen. If the power that raised Jesus from the dead is working, is living on the inside of the believer, yes. there must be fruit. Amen. There must be evidence that the power of God is mm. working on the inside of you. Amen. Therefore, personal revival mm. is not something that happens once in your life. Mm -hmm. It is a constant thing. You are always on fire for Jesus Christ. Amen. Will there be moments when you feel discouraged? Absolutely. Mm. We can even go to scripture this morning. We see how uh, the man of God, Elijah, yes. After God used him so powerfully on Mount Carmel, he went into a time of depression. Mm. He was discouraged. He even said, God, just take my life. Mm. He wanted to die. Yeah. Yes, there will be times of discouragement in our walk with Jesus Christ. But I love the attitude of the Apostle Paul. Yes. He says, I press towards the mark of the higher calling. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If, if you read the Bible and you look at the life of the Apostle Paul, mm. he has gone through the most in mm. his life. Paul suffered a great deal, but our attitude, knowing that the power that raised Jesus from the dead is working on the inside of us, Amen. we can never afford to be discouraged. Amen. We can never afford to let our guts down. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay on fire this morning. Be revived in your spirit today, in your relationship mm. with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Uh, we feel it now. Praise be to God. Now let's take it a little bit further. Let's take it the, the, a little bit further. Christ said that in the last days, Jesus said himself, in the last days, many will declare, Lord, Lord. But he will reply, I never knew you. Mm. I never knew you. Why? This thing is based on our daily personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Can we bring it closer to home this morning? Mm. If I tell you I love you once a year, we're going to have problems. Serious problems. Likewise with mm. Jesus. Mm. If we come into the presence of the Lord only Easter time, only uh, Pentecost, only in, uh, during uh, December, Christmas time, we're going to have a problem. Mm. That means we don't have a genuine relationship with God. Our relationship with him is seasonal in that case. Mm. But Paul says, I call Basalwane, the power that raised Jesus from the dead, it is working in your life mm. on a daily basis. Mm. On a daily basis, the power of the Holy Ghost is working inside the believer. Therefore, we ought to be revived. We ought to be revived. Why? Holy Spirit dwells on the inside of you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I mentioned that there must be fruit, Pastor Pinky. Mm. There must be evidence that the Spirit of God is working on the inside of the believer. It must show. We must reflect God wherever we are. We must reflect that we are, we are genuinely in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. We must reflect in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. That, 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 you know, we, we, we go to church. You know why? Not because your pastor is telling you to go to church, but go to church because the word of God says, do not neglect the gathering of, of the saints. saints. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, whether it's raining, whether it's cold, that is besides the point. Uh, you have a relationship with Jesus. Therefore, you wake up in the morning to seek the face of God. Yes. Mark chapter 1, uh, verse 35. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Jesus rose early in the morning. Jesus had a fire in him that could never be quenched. Mm -hmm. he, he, he operated in personal revival. Amen. Because he wanted to maintain his relationship with his heavenly father. 
praise be to God. Therefore, what we are doing every morning, seeking the face of God, it is because we understand we have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we must be able to pay the price for our relationship with Jesus Christ. He rose early in the morning to seek the face of the Father. Jesus paid the price. We must be willing to pay the price for our relationship with him. Rise up, my sister. Rise up, my brother watching. Don't allow the peripheral things to, 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 to cloud you. Don't allow even this rain to stop you from going to church on a Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Winter mm -hmm. is on our brink. Will you sleep and not come to church because of the weather? Mm. Come on now. Where is the power that is working on the inside of you? Personal revival is needed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Ah, Jabu Kamtikha, I see you, my brother. The Lord bless you. Uh, Elise Palm says, good morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. I feel it now. Amen. I feel it now. Uh, so the first thing, Pastor Pinky, mm. the first thing that God's power does in the life of every believer Amen. is to deliver him from death. Mm. That's number one. Uh, yes. Because Ephesians 2 said we, we, we were in, 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 in we were caught up in our transgressions. Yes. In our sin. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. But we were saved by grace. Mm. So that is the first thing. We have to go back and think back a little bit and ponder on the work of the cross that we were saved by grace. We were delivered. When you think about that, that, that should stir up a fire in you. I, I, I was lost, but now I'm found. Amen. I was blind, but now I yes. can see. Amen. I was headed to hell, but the grace of God came upon me. Now I'm delivered and I'm saved. Amen. I have eternal life. I am going to spend eternity with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you think about that, that should stir you up in your spirit. Amen. Oh, Lord, I want more of you. Amen. I don't want to go back to where I used to be, God. I want to I don't want to go back to a state of complacency. I don't want to go back to a state of passivity. But I want to be actively Amen. involved in my relationship with you. Amen. You know, in the world they say it takes two to tango. Therefore, Jesus is doing his part. Mm. We must do our part. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. So number one, we are, we are saved. We are delivered from death. And I mm. said, when we think about it, mm. it should stir up revival in our spirits, Pastor Pinky. Amen. Praise be to God. Mm. Our prudence, Messi Mukwena, good morning. Our beloved sister, may the Lord bless you. Uh, Gaida, good morning. Good morning. We miss you very, very much there, Gaida. The Lord bless you. Okay, so let's go there, Pastor Pinky. Amen. Uh, let's take it further. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, the man of God, Paul says uh, in verse 1, he is referring to the Gentiles uh, uh, coming to Christ. And the Gentiles were dead in their transgressions and sins. Then Paul includes the Jews as well. Isn't that powerful? The love of God. Mm. The love of God. When you think about that, Amen. John 3.16. Amen. When you think about the love of God, Amen. when you think about the length that God had to go through mm. just to make sure that me and you are saved, that should stir up that flame on the inside of us. Amen. He gave his only begotten mm. son. Mm. Can I ask you to just chew on that a little bit? Mm. Sometimes you have heard this scripture too many times. It doesn't move you anymore. That God gave his, oh, he loved me and you. He loved the Gentile. He loved the Jew. He, we were the Gentiles. The Jews were, were the ones. But Jesus in his mercy, hallelujah. Amen. The Gentiles, me and you, those who were on the outskirts, Jesus says, I am dying for everybody. Mm. And when you think about that today, it should stir up revival on the inside of you. Sure. That God had to give up his only begotten son. Amen. So therefore, we can never be familiar with the word of God. Amen. We can never say, ah, I've heard that scripture too many times. Amen. Does it move you? Mm. When you read the word of God, when you read John 3, 6, 
16. Mm -hmm. Does it still touch you mm -hmm. like it used to touch you when you came to know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior? Mm -hmm. We need personal revival. Let the Word of God come alive in you. When you read John 3, 16, let it do something in your spirit today that God went the extra mile to bring us into his family. Amen. So that we can have eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Mm. Mm. Now, when Paul speaks about transgressions, he's referring to an action or a thought committed in open violation of a known law. Mm. And that's what we did. That's what Adam did. Yeah. He, he violated the law of God. Yes. Just like many of us watching today. The Bible says sin separated us from God. Mm. But we were reconciled through the death of Jesus Christ. We were reconciled to God through the death of Jesus Christ. When you think about that this morning, does it do something in your spirit? Mm. When you know that. We could have been dead. We should have been the ones hanging on that cross. We should have mm -hmm. been the ones that should have been punished for our sins. Sure. But he bore our sins. Amen. He who knew no sin Amen. became sin for us so that we might be the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Does it move you today? Sure. That today we are reconciled. Amen. We are reconciled. Amen. The sin that Adam and Eve committed in the Garden of Eden, mm. the sin that so entered the world. The Bible says we were born in sin, mm. but by the grace of God, when Jesus died a vicarious death on that cross, mm. on a skull-shaped hill, on a blood-soaked cross, mm. Jesus was stretched wide. Jesus was hung up high on that cross for me and you, mm. so that every man can now go to, to God for himself. We have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That should stir up a revival in the life of a believer. Mm. When you think about the events that happened that took place in the life of Jesus, mm. the pain, the shame that Jesus went through for me and you, mm. that should stir up a fire on the inside of you this morning. Amen. Amen. Ah, this is just preparation for the Passover. We are beginning to think, we are beginning to ponder even yes. before Passover. Yes. We are, are appropriating the work of the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. And I personally want to thank Jesus today mm. for what he did on that cross, Pastor Pinky. Yes. He saved me. Mm. He saved me. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you for your grace, my God. Amen. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for, for your unfailing love. Amen. Thank you for your steadfast love for me, for every brother and sister that are watching this morning. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dr. Moachi, welcome. Welcome to the Israel Moachi. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be to God. Now let's continue. Is, is that video stuck or are we continuing? It feels like it's stuck, but let's continue. I think it's the network because mm. of the rain. But okay. we can continue. We can continue. Mm. Okay. Praise be to God. If you can just go back to it, Pastor Pinky, so that we can see what is, what is happening on the other side mm. there. Praise God. There we go. It's fine. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Looks like we are flowing. We are back again. Praise be to God. Devil is a liar. Okay. Now, let's go. We are still talking about personal revival here this morning. And I'm truly touched by Ephesians chapter 2 this morning. It's really blessing me uh, uh, this morning. Mm. But um, let's, let's, let's go now and, and zoom in a little bit into personal revival. What is personal revival? Uh, a personal revival, it is an experience that activates a Christian's passion and inner drive for God and for God's service. Can I repeat that for you, maybe? Mm. Maybe you just need to catch that this morning. I'm going to repeat it for you. Mm. Personal revival, it is an experience that activates a Christian's passion and inner drive for God and service. 
when personal revival uh, takes place in your life it restores you to your first love amen hallelujah it awakens your spirit to a continuous revelation of Christ. Amen. And that's what we were talking about now mm. in Ephesians 2. Mm. When when we are hit by a personal revival, yes. it awakens our spirit to a continuous revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. We think about Jesus. Mm. We think about the work that Jesus did for me and for you. Amen. Now, experiencing personal revival, it is vital because it ensures that we remain spiritually relevant. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We become spiritually relevant Amen. when we, 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 uh, uh, when we are in a personal uh, revival. Now, this relevance that I'm talking about today, you begin to become influential. Mm. When there's a personal revival in your life, you become a person of influence. Mm. You begin to influence other people. God begins to minister in you and through you. Amen. You begin to also restore other believers, those who are feeling discouraged. When there's a personal revival in your life, you are beginning now to pray for other brothers and sisters yes. who you know that yes. they are experiencing a time of discouragement. Yes. Uh, 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 they are not where they used to be in their relationship with God. Mm. Uh, can I just go back to what I said earlier? Mm. That uh, when personal revival hits you, your first love is awakened. Mm. You go back to your first love. And that's what the Bible says in the book of Revelations. It encourages the believer. It was encouraging the churches that the Bible is speaking about in the book of Revelations mm. to go back to their first love. Amen. Can I remind you today? Amen. Do you remember how it used to be, my brother and sister, watching today when you first came to Christ? When you first became a lover of Jesus Christ, mm. the Bible actually calls him the lover of your soul. Yes. Do you remember when you were madly in love with the Lord Jesus Christ? Mm. Do you remember how you used to pray on a daily basis? Do you remember how the word of God used to taste like honey on your lips? Mm. Do you remember how you never wanted to miss a church service? Mm. Do you remember how you never wanted to miss any event happening at church? Mm. Come back to your first love. Amen. Come back. Be revived in your spirit. Be revived in your personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you become a person of influence, yes. other believers who are discouraged, other believers who are feeling down, when they look at your life because you are revived, they begin to say, I, call I want what Sandra has. Amen. I want what is on Maria's life. How come she's so much on fire? Mm. Sandra, please let me know what is happening in your life. Mm. I want what you have, Sandra. Jabu, I want what you have. You become a person of influence. Uh, Yvonne, tell me, how do you stay so focused? How is it that you still go to church? Mm. Even though I personally know that things are not going so well, Yvonne. Jabu, everybody person uh, watching today. Things are not going well, yeah. but you become a person of influence because your relationship with Jesus is not based on what you are going through. Oh, Shala mm, Musa. Amen. LeBron Carter, LeBron Carter, you become a person of influence. People begin to want what you have. Yes. When you have a personal relationship with God, mm. when you have a personal revival, prudence, I'm talking to you, you become a person of influence. Amen. You influence other believers. Amen. Tabi Koketo, good morning. Ah, Labro Shata. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's take it further. Let's take it further this morning. Mm. How can we experience a personal revival? We are talking about it. Mm. We are talking about it. Mm. Uh, we are not hearers of the word only, but we are. Do I... Do us of the word. Amen. We, we put action. Yes. We put action to, to what we hear. Amen. Therefore, faith comes by hearing. Mm. And you've just heard the word of God now. And I believe God is stirring up your faith again, once Amen. again this morning. Amen. God is stirring up your faith once again this morning. Mm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, as we have heard the word, we need to apply the word. Now, how do we experience personal revival? Number one, 
We are applying the word. We need to study the word. We need to study, study the, the word. word of God. Amen. How many times have you heard that one? Mm. In your own church, wherever you go, wherever you are attending church, how many times has your pastor told you to read the word of God? Mm. I want to ask you a question this morning. Are you reading the word of God? Mm. Are you studying the word of God? Because this will be a catalyst to your personal revival. Amen. The word of God will be a catalyst, will be an instrument that God uses to mm. take you into your personal revival. Amen. Study the word. Mm. Study the word. Amen. The Bible says, eat the scroll. Mm. Eat this thing. Amen. Have a hunger for the word. For the word. Amen. If you want personal revival in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm. There we go. So I want to dwell a little bit on studying the word of God. Amen. How do we do it? We are applying the word now. Amen. We want to make sure that you have a personal revival in your life. Mm. If you need personal revival or restoration, the best place to begin is in the word of God. One scripture that comes to mind this morning is a, is a psalm from the, the, the psalmist David. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. You can go and read Psalm 50 and 51. They both contain David's prayer, seeking mm. God's face for restoration and revival. Amen. Ma maybe we can go there this morning. Amen. Maybe we can go there this morning. Mm. Let's go read Psalm 51. Let's read Psalm 51 together. Mm. If you want personal revival in your own life. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible reads in this order. David says the following. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, yes. blot out my transgression. Yes. And if revival is going to come into your life mm. as a believer like David, you begin to recognize any transgression that is in your life. You recognize it and you, you, you confess it to God. Blot out my transgressions. Forgive me for the sin, for the iniquity in my life. That is the beginning of revival. Lord, forgive me. Amen. Forgive me. Mm. I need revival. Yes. Forgive me the sin in my life. Yeah. There's iniquity in my heart. Mm. Forgive me. Amen. Therefore, David was not shy because he understood the power of repentance. Amen. When we repent, revival comes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. David goes on to say, Pastor Pinky, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Yes. And cleanse me from my sin. Amen. Revival comes. Amen. Revival comes. comes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Verse 6 of Psalm 51. Verse 6. Behold, mm. you delight in truth. Yes. In the inward being. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you teach me the wisdom in the secret heart. Sure. Mm. Purge me. Then I shall be clean. Amen. Wash me. I shall be whiter than snow. Amen. Revive. Mm. Do a work in me, Lord. Do a work in me. David was seeking restoration mm. because he wanted revival in his life. Mm. He wanted a personal <clears throat> revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he goes on to say in verse 10, Psalm 51 verse 10, David goes on to say, Restore to me, restore to me the joy of of your salvation yes amen. revival was was hitting david now he says god now that you have forgiven me of my sins yes now that you are, you have washed me now that you have purged me mm. i am whiter than snow now amen. thank you for forgiving me of my sins my god amen. now, now amen. restore to me the joy Boy. of your salvation amen mm -hmm. mm. oh hallelujah mm. hallelujah and uphold me with a willing spirit oh jesus help us mm. help us lord amen thank you jesus mm. let's continue there pastor pinky let's continue there this morning personal revival number one let's study the word that's how we we, we experience personal revival we we read the word of god go and read that psalm 
Let it stir you up today. Let it bring you back to, the, to your first love, to a place where you love Jesus more than anything in this world. Personal revival involves getting more of God's spirit into your spirit. Mm -hmm. Mark Hashaya. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, after studying the Word of God, <clears throat> we might be talking the basics today, but these basics will help you greatly. Study the Word of God. Mm. Joshua said, when you do that, you will make your own ways prosperous and successful. Amen. Study the Word of God mm. in, intentionally, intently. Amen. You must do it intentionally. Number two, how do we experience revival? We need to pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. We need to be believers that pray without ceasing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul tells us, or rather he tells the Thessalonians in his first letter to them. Paul sends a letter to the Thessalonians, mm -hmm. and you can go and read that. In uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, Paul encourages them to pray without ceasing. Amen. Revival was about to break out in the church of Thessalonians. Praise be to God. Amen. As you know, prayer is how we communicate with God. Mm. And when we do communicate with God, it means we are always at that same place with God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. We maintain our fire with God through daily communication, Amen. through daily communion with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A continuous contact with God. Amen. Uh, thank you, Jesus. This means that communicating with God without ceasing, it draws you closer to Him and it impacts your life. Amen. When God draws you closer to, 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 to Himself, there's an impact in your life. Mm. There's an impact in your life. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayer is one of the avenues for me and for you, the Christians, to refresh and to refuel. Mm. When we are in a time of prayer, mm. we are refreshed. Amen. And we are, we are yeah. refueling. Yeah. Where we are feeling tired. Yeah. Where we are feeling discouraged. Yeah. In prayer, when we purpose to be in prayer, yes. we are refreshed. And that's where we refuel ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our spirit man is revived again Amen. in a time of prayer. Amen. I have seen that in my personal life. Mm. I have seen that. Amen. No matter how discouraged I am, the moment I begin to fix my eyes on Jesus, the moment I begin to say, Lord, I give my issues to you. Mm. I give my circumstances to you. Yes. All my troubles. All the hurt and the pain yes. that I'm experiencing now, I give them to you, Father, and I leave them at the foot of the cross. That's because you said in your word, mm. I must give you my burdens. Hallelujah. Because Amen. your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Right. Amen. And when I begin to declare that, I feel the lift, the, the weight lifting off. Amen. Because in prayer, I am refreshed. Mm. In prayer, I am refueling my mm. spirit man. Yeah. Is there any prayer warriors this morning who say, man of God, that's it right there. You are touching something powerful this morning. Mm. I'm a praying woman. I'm a praying man. Mm. Why? I am refreshed in prayer. Amen. Personal revival. Amen. Personal revival. Yes. I see you. He says, praying without ceasing. Amen. Matkabo Pilati says, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Many times we put ourselves under pressure, spending many hours in prayer, and it's, it's important to sometimes to build longevity, to build <clears throat> endurance in the area of prayer. Amen. You have to start somewhere. Mm. Do 10 minutes. If, if you cannot do 5 minutes, go to 10 minutes. Mm. That's how we grow in this area of prayer. Mm. Stretch yourself a little bit further every time. Do 10 minutes. From 10 to 15, and, and, and it goes on. Yeah. But you are building endurance and, lo and longevity. Yeah. But sometimes it's not always about the hours that you spend in prayer. Mm. Hallelujah. But, 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 but we must start somewhere. Yes. We must start somewhere. Mm. So as you continue to practice prayer, you unconsciously begin to spend more time with God 
in True. prayer. True. Amen. As you increase your time. Yeah. Unconsciously, you're not even thinking about it, mm. but you are actually spending yeah. more time the in Lord. the presence of the Amen. Lord. Amen. Then five minutes turns into 20 minutes, uh -huh. and you are enjoying the presence of the Lord. Mm. Why? In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, 30 minutes, tomorrow is like, no, God, I had such a powerful time with you. Mm. I, I, I want to do more of this, God. Mm. Tomorrow is 45 minutes. Before you know it, you hit the one hour mark and it goes like this. Why? You are revived in a Amen. time of prayer. Hallelujah. You are revived in Amen. a time of prayer. Amen. Ah, glory be to God. Mm. Glory be to God. Mm. We talked about studying the word mm -hmm. for us to experience personal revival. Yeah. We talked about uh, a time of prayer, praying without right. season. Yes. Number three. To experience personal revival, we need to be people that listen to the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. To experience a personal revival, mm. we need to be a people whose ears are inclined to the voice of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why do I say that? The Holy Spirit is our teacher. Mm. The Holy Spirit is our helper. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to communicate with us constantly also. Amen. That's, that's what he wants to do. Amen. So be a person that is attentive to, to the, the Holy, voice the of Spirit. the Holy Spirit Amen. because he wants to communicate with us. Mm. Praise be to God. Mm. Praise be to God. Amen. Number four, you need to free yourself mm. from hindrances mm. that stop you from coming to a to an authentic relationship with Jesus sure free yourself if you want to experience a personal revival free yourself from any hindrance amen that stops you from having an authentic a genuine relationship with God amen and many a times we as the believers we know that it is that is stopping us from coming to God. Mm. We know exactly we do. where the problem is. Yeah. I'm asking you today, <clears throat> free yourself from that. Mm. You don't need deliverance. You know what the problem is. Yeah. <clears throat> Deal with it. Just come out. Yeah. Confess your sins to the Lord. Mm. Free yourself from anything. Yeah. Anything. It might not be sin. It might be something that you constantly think about. Mm. It might be unforgiveness. Yeah. So whatever it is. Free yourself from that hindrance mm. so that there can be personal re 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 revival yeah. in your life. Amen. <clears throat> it's powerful, Pastor Pinky. It is. And I believe revival is going to hit us. Amen. Revival is going to hit us. Mm. And uh, if revival is going to break out in the church, if revival is going to break out in our communities, in mm. our cities, mm. in our nation and mm. the nations of the world, mm. it starts here. Amen. With you as an individual. Mm. And the fires of revival will begin to spread Amen. when we individuals are in right standing with God. Amen. And that's what revival, when revival comes, it aligns us with the will and the purposes of God. Mm. Therefore, God wants us to bring, he wants to bring us into a place where we are now aligning ourselves with his will. Amen. And when we do that, when we do that, when we free ourselves from any hindrance, God begins to move in our lives. Mm. Sure. He begins to flow and move in our lives amen hallelujah mm. praise be to god praise be to god i'm closing and we're going to get into a time of prayer right now we're going to believe god for revival in your own life in our lives as the body of christ let us believe god for revival mm. together mm. in the name of jesus but i'm mm. concluding by saying this we have just shared a few points on how you can experience a personal revival but what you can do now Mm -hmm. What you can do now, today, after the stream, or when you get time today, when it's your personal time with God, ask him. Ask him, go and declare. Go and declare. I think it's in the book of Psalm, mm. where David says, want you revive us yeah, yeah. again. Yeah. It's want you revive us, revive us again. again. Amen. Let that, let that be your prayer today. Mm. And make it personal this morning. Or whenever you are having your personal time with God today, sometime yeah. today. Mm. Because personal time with God is important. Mm. So today when you have that personal time with God, <clears throat> go and, and, and say to the Lord, <clears throat> won't you revive me yes. again. again? Amen. 
and God will, mm -hmm. if you are desperate enough for personal revival, God will hear you, God will revive you and answer you in the name of Jesus Christ. But right now, I want us to pray for a few moments. Believe God for yourself on this beautiful Monday morning. <clears throat> it is a, 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 the beginning of a brand new week. And we are looking ahead to the Passover that is coming up. Let us ask God to fix our hearts. Yes. Let us ask God to purify us, <clears throat> to cleanse us as we are uh, approaching Passover. Amen. And yesterday, I read out a portion of scripture from the book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 35. Mm. Uh, uh, Jesus wanted to bring revival into the church. Mm. And the Bible says uh, uh, there was a time leading to the Jewish Passover. Mm. But what was happening before the Passover? Mm. The people were busy selling merchandising in the house of God. There was no longer revival. The sure. fire of God was out of the house of God. Sure. Therefore, the house of God became a marketplace. Amen. The house of God sure. became a place of business. Sure. But Jesus came and he flipped the tables around. Yeah. He was angry in his spirit. He said, you have turned the house of the Lord into a den of robbers. But I declare, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Amen. Jesus was bringing revival mm. before Passover. That's what the Bible said. That was just before Passover. Sure. Jesus was cleansing, purging the church. Yes. And I believe that's what mm. he wants to do this week. Amen. Ask him to fix your heart today. Thank you, Jesus. Ask him to fix you. Mm. Where are you in your relationship with Jesus? Ask him today, fix me. Amen. <clears throat> fix me. As we are approaching Passover, Passover. Amen. like he did in the Bible. Amen. He had to fix the church mm. before pass over amen hallelujah mm. praise be to god sure maka shoto Okay. Come on, pray for yourself. Pray in the spirit. Pray the perfect will of God over your life to this morning. Say, God, revive me. Do a work in me, a lasting work. May I bear fruit in my life. May I bear evidence in my life yes, that there is revival mm. in my life in yes. the name of Jesus. But I want yes. you to pray in tongues right now yes, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Mande ma kada ba sukura ba handu lo boshi rekende le boshi kala ba handu ma kala boshi kala ba handu le ba handu lo boshi kere le boshi kala ba ma handu lo boshi kala ba handu le ba 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 handu Father, we bless your holy name this morning. Yes, Lord. We glorify you, my God. Yes. We say, be exalted in our midst. Be lifted high, Jesus. Thank the you, King Jesus. of kings and the Lord of lords. Yes, Father, Lord. this morning we are desperate for you. Mm. We are hungry to see revival in our own personal lives, my God. Yes, Start with us as individuals yes. to a work in our lives. Mm. Just like David said, remove a heart of stone. Mm. Replace it, my God, with a heart of flesh yes. this morning. Do a heart surgery today in the name of Jesus Christ. Put in us a contrite spirit, my God, mm. in the name of Jesus. I decree, I declare that there will be an outpouring of your revival fire. You will baptize your people afresh this morning with revival fires in the name of Jesus remove whatever needs to be removed in the life of a believer purge us with your fire let the refiner's fire yes. come and purify us yes. let the refiner's fire yes. come and cleanse us my God yes, in the name of Jesus oh, Christ yes, if there is iniquity in our lives mm. father we surrender today we lift up our hands in your presence yes, we Lord. say Jesus have your way 
yes. in our lives. May yes. we never, Father, stop you from coming into our hearts today. Mm. Therefore, we demolish every wall. We demolish every barrier that has been blocking Jesus from coming into our hearts, sure. from doing a work in our hearts. Yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus yes, Christ, Lord. we surrender, my God. Mm. Take full control of our minds. Take full control of our hearts. Yes, Take Lord. full control of our bodies, my God. Where we have sinned against you, mm. whether knowing or unknowing, my God, yes. we repent this morning, Father. Oh. We humble ourselves before your throne of grace. Mm. Therefore, Father, I thank you today. Yeah. You said in your word, when we repent, when we humble my, ourselves, mm. you said you will hear our prayers, my yes, God. Lord. And I thank you today mm. that you forgive us of the iniquity and sin mm. in our lives out, and Lord. cleanse us mm. from all unrighteousness, my God. Yes. Even this whole week, Father, mm. we appropriate the love of God. Yes. We appropriate the work of the cross. Mm. We know, Father, we are reminded according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1 to 7, that we have been saved by grace. Therefore, we remember the work of the cross. We remember the shame that you took, Father, on the cross of Calvary. We remember that you took our poverty in the name of Jesus. We remember that our sins have been forgiven through your shed blood, my Jesus. Therefore, in this week, Father, do a work in the life of my brothers and my sisters. Do a work in my life and Pastor Pinky's life in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord, Jesus. May there be a personal revival Bible. in Amen. our lives. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Thank we you, pray. Jesus. Somebody shout amen wherever you are. Amen. You can praise the Lord. Amen. You can comment hallelujah. Amen. Because God is a good God. Sure. God is a faithful God. Mm. And this coming week, we are going to see the power of God come upon our lives. Amen. In the name amen. of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God this morning. Amen. I bless your week. Have a fantastic week. Have a powerful week filled with the Spirit of God. Glory Amen. be to God. As we close, there is the flyer for our Passover conference, the glory of the cross. We boast only in the cross, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Therefore, we want to personally invite you. Please come to the way, Evangelistic Ministry. This coming Friday, 10 a.m., we have Apostle Asanda J. And then Saturday, 5 p.m., Sunday morning, 10 a.m., we are closing our Passover conference. We cannot wait to see you in the house of the Lord. Share the flyer. Invite your world in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. With that said, we have come to the end of the stream this morning. You know who I am. I am your favorite evangelist, Tabo Mahasani, together with the beautiful African queen, Pastor Pinky. Amen. We love you, we bless you, and we will see you tomorrow.